Hi, this video will cover the hat or the matching problem. It states that n people are at a party. Each person throws their hat in the center. At the end of the party, each person randomly selects a hat from the center. What is the probability that nobody gets their own hat? Now this is a classic derangement problem. Derangement and probability is the permutation where none of the elements ends up in its original position. For example, to make Secret Santa work pro properly, you would need a derangement of the names because nobody can pick their own name out of a hat. Okay, so to begin to solve this problem, the probability that nobody gets their own hat is equal to 1 minus the probability that at least one person gets their own hat. To put this in terms of variables, let's let e sub i equal the event that the ith person gets their own hat. In this case, i ranges from 1 to big N. In terms of these variables, the probability that at least one person gets their own hat is equal to the probability of e sub 1 or e sub 2 or e sub 3 all the way up till e sub n. A more concise way of writing this probability is the union of events from i equals 1 to big N of e sub i. Now our final answer will be 1 minus this probability because the question asks for the probability that nobody gets their own hat. One technique to finding this quantity is to use the inclusion-exclusion identity, which is shown here. To illustrate the formula using an example, take the union of three events, A, B, and C. The probability of these events, A or B or C, in essence the shaded region, according to the identity, is the probability of A plus the probability of B plus the probability of C, the entire circles, minus the intersections of A and B, B and C, and A and C, the leaf-like shapes, and finally plus the triangular center region, the intersections of A, B, and C, which will sum to the area of the shaded region. If the little nth term where n is between 1 and big N of the inclusion-exclusion identity is found, then this generalization can be plugged into every term in the identity. Note that little n ranges from 1 to big N, and when little n is equal to 1, only one person selects their own hat. And when little n equals big N, everybody chooses their own hat. To find this quantity, notice that the probability of the intersection of events from e sub i sub 1 to e sub i sub little n, or the probability that little n people get their own hat, will be the same for all i's, and therefore this quantity is a constant. To find this constant, notice that the probability that little n people get their own hat is the number of outcomes resulting in little n people getting their own hat over the total number of outcomes. First, the total number of outcomes is a permutation. Since there are n people and n hats, the first hat can be chosen by any of the n people, the second hat by any of the n minus 1 people, and so on until the last hat is chosen by the last person remaining. Multiplying these events, we have n factorial different possible outcomes. Now, the number of outcomes where little n people get their own hat follows a similar argument as before. However, now, little n people are guaranteed their own hat. From the remaining big N minus little n people, there are big N minus little n hats left, and it is again a permutation of big N minus little n. Therefore, the probability of little n people getting their own hat is going to be equal to big N minus little n factorial over big N factorial. Circling back to the general term of the inclusion-exclusion identity, now that the probability has been found, all that remains is to find the number of terms in the summation. The fact that the sum of, let's say, r terms of a constant c equals r times c can be applied because now we are summing constant probability of a certain number of times. So the question remains how many terms are in this expression. As an example, let big N, the number of people total, equal 5, and little n, the number of people who get their own hat, equal 3. Let each person be represented by a number. Now we are trying to find the number of ways that three people or values can be picked so that the first value is less than the second value is less than the third value and all of the values are distinct according to this inequality in the yellow oval. Here's a few examples of numbers that can be written in increasing order. 
And now we can notice that any combination or group of three distinct numbers can be rearranged so that it is in increasing order. Because any group of distinct numbers can be rearranged to be in order, order does not matter in this case. Now, this becomes a question of how many combinations of three can be made from five items. The answer is simply five choose three, or in general, big N choose little n. By plugging in the probability that little n people get their own hat as big N minus little n factorial divided by n factorial, and the number of terms in this expression as big N choose little n, the summation is equivalent to big N choose little n times big N minus little n factorial divided by big N factorial. This can simplify to 1 divided by little n factorial. Using this generalized result, the union of events e sub i from i equals 1 to n, or the probability that at least one person gets their own hat, becomes 1 over 1 factorial minus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial, all until negative 1 to the n plus 1 times 1 over big N factorial. However, originally the question asked what is the probability that nobody gets their own hat? Therefore, to get this answer, it is necessary to take 1 minus the probability that at least one person gets their own hat. The probability that nobody gets their own hat is then equal to 1 minus 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial, so on and so forth, until plus negative 1 times negative 1 to the n times 1 over big N factorial. This result can be written in summation notation as the sum from i equals 0 to big N of negative 1 to the i over i factorial. And this is the answer to the hat problem for n people. So this is the probability that nobody will get their own hat. Finally, something interesting happens when n grows towards infinity. This result may look familiar. Now notice that the Taylor expansion of e to the x is the sum from i equals to infinity of x to the i over i factorial. If we let x equals negative 1, this becomes the exact same formula. And so the result is that as n grows towards infinity, the probability that nobody gets their own hat goes towards 1 over e, which is a super cool and interesting result.